A World War II British trawler, the HMT Bedfordshire, was sunk by a German U-boat, the U-558, off the coast of Beaufort, North Carolina in May of 1942. For 67 years, the ship has laid at the bottom of the Atlantic Ocean, and in August of 2009, a team of maritime archaeologists led by NOAA's Monitor National Marine Sanctuary began the process to document and survey the wreck site. Divers from NOAA, the National Park Service, Minerals Management Service, East Carolina University, the University of North Carolina Coastal Studies Institute, and the Georgia Aquarium spent two weeks diving on the wreck. As divers prepared to survey the wreck, a fixed baseline was placed from bow to stern down the center of the site. The baseline was divided into 14-foot sections, and divers were assigned an area either port or starboard to record. Each diver then began to measure and draw the ship's structural features to scale. Systematically, the divers documented the features, capturing as much detail as possible. With a depth of 100 feet, the divers had only approximately 20 minutes of working bottom time. To aid in the documentation of the site, photo and video images were also taken. Archaeologists will use these images to aid in completing the complex details while creating an accurate site plan. These preliminary investigations performed in the Battle of the Atlantic will serve as a baseline for future monitoring and scientific research of the site as both an important cultural and economic resource. In addition to assessing the archaeological significance of the site, scientists are also interested in the ecological importance of sunken shipwrecks, such as the HMT Bedfordshire. Lying in approximately 100 feet of water, the wreck site is not only a popular dive site, but is also home to an abundance of marine life. Over time, this shipwreck has become an artificial reef. While surveying and documenting the site during the Battle of the Atlantic Expedition, the divers were inundated by a variety of sea creatures. The artificial reef was abundant with schooling tomtates and Spanish sardines that swarmed so thick they blocked the sunlight, making it difficult for divers to see. Dodging in and out of the various wreck features, triggerfish and angelfish ironically sought refuge in what once was a fishing trawler. Also amongst the site, and partially hidden by the wreckage, a loggerhead turtle was spotted sleeping on the ocean floor. Amberjacks, one of the larger predators on the wreck, darted among the divers as they hunted for prey. In addition to being an important cultural site, the HMT Bedfordshire serves as an important natural resource, providing habitat for the variety of marine life that it supports. This is the second year of the Battle of the Atlantic Expedition. In 2008, archaeologists and scientific divers surveyed and mapped three German U-boats sunk off the North Carolina coast in 1942. Summer of 2010 will mark the third year of the expedition. Diver teams will continue to document the important historical sites from the Battle of the Atlantic. It is the intent of this project to catalog the significance of the sites and identify the degrading impacts from both environmental and cultural factors. This information will play a critical role in monitoring the sites as well as provide a baseline for future scientific research.